Many people don't know that P.O. Pico was a black man. Let's not take that for granted, folks. As we take a relook at the early African presence in Americas, we are drawn to the discovery of P.O. Pico. Although the Pico surname is widely known in Southern California, from busy Pico Boulevard, the city of Pico Rivera, the Pico House, to Pico Paco State Historic Park. And the surname on several businesses, from fast food establishments, dry cleaners, to shopping malls, the general public is ignorant of the man behind the name. Pio de Jesus Pico was born May 5th, 1801 in Alta, California, a region that was a province of New Spain before becoming a Mexican territory in 1822. It's been more than 125 years since the passing of Pio Pico, a black Californio, the term used to describe Hispanic natives of the Californias. Pico was the last sitting governor of Mexican California under Mexican rule before the region seceded to the United States in 1848, after the Mexican-American War. And today, we focus our lens on Pio de Jesus Pico, whose imprint on Los Angeles was notable. He was one of the most influential black Mexicans with roots to the original pobladores. The Los Angeles pobladores, or townspeople, being a group of 44 settlers and four soldiers from Mexico, who established the famed city in 1781 in what is now California. The settlers came from various Spanish castes, with over half of the group being of African descent. That bears repeating, with over half being of African descent, or black. Pico's mother was a mulata, a mixed person of African heritage. His father was a mestizo, a person of Native American and Spanish heritage. Keep in mind, many Aboriginal Native Americans and Spanish were black. Pico's mother was reportedly part of the Pobladores, so his mother was essentially part of the peoples that founded the city of Los Angeles. Pico rose to prominence after briefly serving as a soldier in the Mexican army. By way of a grant and other business ventures, he was able to obtain a massive ranch totaling nearly 9,000 acres and become a successful rancher. With his wealth and business ties, Pico involved himself into politics and was elected governor of Alta, California in 1845 for a second time, as he served in 1832. By the 1850s, Pio Pico was one of the richest men in all of California. When the southerner Mexican territories were seceded to the United States, Pico fled to Mexico briefly but returned to Southern California and became an American citizen. He later opened a lavish three-story hotel in Los Angeles in 1868. Mexico's 15th century assimilation of Spaniards, indigenous natives, and African enslaved and free gave rise to black Mexico, eventually leading to the founding of Los Angeles by black Mexicans and mestizos in the 18th century when California was still under the rule of Mexico. As with many things, the African presence in California and Los Angeles in particular had been hidden or ignored. But not today. Some of the sites which carry the name Pio Pico are as follows. Pico Boulevard is one of the major sites in California that bears his name. Pico Boulevard is a major Los Angeles street that runs from the Pacific Ocean at Alpian Way and Santa Monica to Central Avenue in downtown Los Angeles. This boulevard has a length of over 15 miles, making it one of the largest boulevards in the world. Pico Union is a neighborhood in Central Los Angeles. The name Pico Union refers to the neighborhood that surrounds the intersection of Pico Boulevard and Union Avenue. It's located immediately west of downtown Los Angeles and is home to over 40,000 residents. Pico Rivera is a city located in southeastern Los Angeles County. The city is situated approximately 11 miles southeast of downtown Los Angeles. There's also Pico House, a historic building in Los Angeles dating from its days as a small town in Southern California. 
There's also the Pio Pico State Historic Park, and this is a site in El Ranchillo, also known as the Pio Pico Adobe or the Pio Pico Museum, the final home of Pio Pico. And as we know, he was the last governor of Alta California under Mexican rule, and he was a pivotal figure in early California history. This amazing man lived to be 93 years old, and he lived through the Spanish colonialism, Mexican rule, and ultimately American conquest to Los Angeles. And he was a major figure in early Los Angeles. You know, people criticize this man and they have all kinds of different opinions about him. But one thing you can't ignore is the fact that in his lifetime, he amassed more than 532,000 acres. If he can do it then, we can do it now. We would like to point out that oftentimes we'll see paintings of Pio Pico, like the one being presented here. And in this picture, he's racially ambiguous. But make no mistake about it. Pio Pico was a black man. Painting. Portrait. When you do your research, you will see that in many publications, he's, this man has been vilified. But you have to look at who's writing the narrative. You have to be careful. And to quote Malcolm, the press can have you loving your enemies and hating your friends. So you must be careful. We encourage everyone to do your own research and think for yourself. We don't say that we're right or wrong, but we're just presenting what we believe to be the facts. The Black Excellence and Abundance Channel, where black history is every day. Thanks for watching. We ask that you please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, thou art.